Good morning. Good morning. Here we are in Joshua Tree National Park. We're on a roadside pullout. We're 15 miles south of the Pinto Y. Today we are going to climb Mary Peak, which is right there. It's about a 2,000 foot vertical climb, around six and a half miles round trip. And we're going to go uh, across this little plateau here and we're going to go right up the nose of that ridge and follow that ridge right up. And hopefully we'll see some nice cliff views and some other great views. So that's looking behind us towards the Pinto Mountains. Uh, pretty nice with the sun on the way they are right now. This is looking back up towards Mary. The coyotes have a kill going on nearby. We can hear them making a ruckus. Nice specimen of a hedgehog cactus. There are several of them out here. Don't usually see them that big though. At least I haven't. They've been a lot smaller. So we're getting closer to the uh, beginning of the ridge. Another mm, 15 minutes we should be over there. Well, it's been pretty smooth going. It's starting to get a little uh, rockier and less level as we get closer to the uh, mountain. Still not bad. Okay, that's looking behind us. It's taken us about 40 minutes to get over to the nose of the ridge, which is where we are right now. It's the beginning of the ridge. Uh, there's the mountain back there. Uh, it's about 1.9 miles from where we pulled out on the road to get over here, so it's a pretty good distance. A little rugged. When you start getting closer, you can see all the rubble, and there's a, an alluvial, alluvial fan from the wash, so it's all spread out, many different little washes. And I just looked over here, and I see a barrel and what looks to be an old uh, corner of a structure, so we better walk over there before we go up the mountain. Let's walk over here and see what we find. Well, sure enough, there's an old mining camp of some sort over here. Uh, and, you know, usually when there's a mining camp like this, there's a road, although we didn't find a road coming out here. But if you happen to find a road that comes this direction, it might be a little easier traveling. But, uh, like I said, we didn't find it. So let's look around at the camp. There's the mandatory bed spring and all that's uh, left over in all of these places. A little bit of wood. An aluminum pan. Or pot and a little dish pan, some cans, a fireplace, not much going on. A lot of these old mining camps are pretty well shot, not much left of them. I think a lot of them they reclaimed the wood and the, the uh, tin for the roofs and used them in other places. Most of them seem to have a bed spring though, that's for sure, and a can dump. Okay, that's looking behind us, back towards the Pinto Mountains. Uh, this is looking up the ridge, it's not too bad so far. If you weave your way around the larger rocks, you can usually find a route that's not too bad. There's not really a trail per se, but it's not too bad. There are the big, the face of Mary Peak. There's a big wash coming out of there. And that's looking mostly north, I guess, through the Hexie Mountains. Looks like a, we've got a bit of a wall up here that we have to get around or over somehow. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Okay, this is looking behind us. We've been coming up that ridge. We came to this knob, and then this ridge opens up a little bit and turns a little bit towards the east. And here are the cliffs above us. That's the, the cliffy face of Mary Peak. So it gets, the going gets a little easier here now. Not quite such large rocks you have to negotiate around. And I believe we follow this up to that next ridge line and follow that one to the peak. Now that we've turned to the east a little bit, you can see most of the ridge line we came up back there. We're getting some pretty good views of the cliffs 
thousand foot drop right there. And the wash coming out the other side there. If you want, you can go around the back of the mountain, descend the back of the mountain and come around the other side and come out that wash. It adds a mile or a mile and a half to the hike. There goes Julie Mountain going up the slope. You can also descend this other ridge line over there. It's a little less of a slope. Might be a little easier going. Adds about a half mile to the hike. There's the peak. Here's the ridge. Well, there are some nice barrel cacti. There's our ridge again on the left there. That's the peak. This is what we're facing. A little tougher now, but we're getting closer. That's looking back at our route. You can see the ridge all the way down to the to the basin there. Pinto Mountains, the huge Pinto Basin. Okay, that section was a little steep, but we're on our final stretch, which is right behind me. Right there, that's all that's left. Too far into it to back off now. So, Here's the view back into the Hexi Mountains. Well, we're just about there. It took us just about exactly three hours. That's counting stopping for about 10 minutes for lunch. But here we are, at the top of Mary Peak. A little breezy. A few uh, barrel cacti up here. In fact, there's one just on the peak, which is right here. You were a mountain climber, Julie. There you have it. That's it. There's nothing higher on this little deal. There's the Pinto Basin. And there are the Pinto Mountains. Okay, well right next to the benchmark in this barrel cactus is a, uh, a red can with, it looks like a register in there. We're going to throw our names in there. Well, now that we've done that, there's nowhere to go but down, so... We best get started, I guess. I think we're going to take the same way down. There are options. Like I said, you could go around the back of the mountain and come out that wash down there. Or you can go down the ridge that we see there. Or you can take the next ridge to the right. So we got to make a decision here in the next couple minutes. That looks like uh, the White Mountain is San Gorgonio. And there's San Jacinto over to the left, too. Beautiful sight, the old Pinto Basin. There's a lot of subtle colors on the floor there. Reds and browns. Different shades. Pinto Mountains, we've not climbed that one yet. Probably will someday. Well, we're back down off the main part of the mountain. Which is up there. So far so good. We're back down to the kind of the ridge here. And 
I guess we determined we're going to take the same way back that we took up here. It's the shortest way. We could have been a little more adventurous, I guess, if we wanted to go around back of the mountain, but we didn't. So here we are. Listen to the echo. Hey! Look, at you can see our car shining in the, in the background there down at the road. That's pretty cool. That's it. That's where we're headed, only about three miles away. What a beautiful day for the end of February. Must be around 60, maybe a little warmer. A little breeze. Well, we're just about down to the end of the ridge. Another few minutes and we'll be done. Pretty cool hike. Uh, kind of difficult though. Tough terrain and a lot of elevation gain. And there's the end of the ridge right there. There's the top of the mountain. Pretty fun. I would say it's a pretty tough, uh, tough hike up there. No technical skills necessary, but uh, definitely a lot of rough footing, uneven footing with all the rocks. And and now we got two miles to go over this stuff. Although it's not all as bad as it, look, as it looks right here. Well, there's our last look back at the old ridge. Pretty fun. Here the octillos are leaping out again now that they've gotten some moisture. Oh, if that's a flower on the end or is that just oh that's just broken off. Another one. Okay, we're back at our parking spot along Pinto Basin Road, which, which is 15 miles south of the Y, the Pinto Y. Uh, the hike ended up being 7.65 miles, according to our GPS, an elevation difference of 2164. And it took us just a shade over six hours, including eating, eating lunch. So there's the mountain. If you're in the park looking for a peak to bag, this is a decent one. So thanks for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it and happy hiking!